Hey guys, it's Mike the Wrestling God Smith, and you guys are watching on wrestling. Um, this this video was actually for my predictions, but my hell in a cell predictions is seeing how things are gonna go down. Um, the first match, which I'm really thinking, I'm gonna the main, which I'm actually gonna talk about it because there's a couple of things I want to address. I apologize if it's a long video, but I like I said, guys, I'm just trying to give you what my feelings are, what's gonna happen, what surprises are in store, because I feel like last night with SmackDown. We got a lot of good things. The Rob, like a lot of stuff has happened. I'm really hyped for the main event, which is the Jey Uso, Roman Reigns, uh, I Quit Hell in a Cell, because I really want to see that. It's gonna be bloody. It's gonna be crazy. But let's get into these predictions. Um, my first thing I'm gonna talk about it is gonna be the Miz versus Otis for the Money in the Bank contract after the Law and Otis thing. I don't think the reason why I say Otis is gonna win. Is because we don't like the thing. The thing with Miz and Morrison, they don't need to exist. They're not on SmackDown. They're on Raw, and it doesn't make it. It really even if even if Vince wanted to make Otis a big a superstar, which he's already have in a way, because this is the thing. Otis could have been a superstar if he was with Tucker, and I think them. I really think them. What should the original plan should have been for them to go up the tag team titles and become really dominant tag team champions. Because I don't think him really, him really getting the, him really getting the, like the title unless Mandy Rose is involved, and I feel like Mandy Rose, like it would be fun. If, I would I would use the Money in the Bank contract and be like, listen, Miz, you win the Money in the Bank contract, but I want to go to Raw. I want to be with Mandy. I want to be with Otis. I want to be with Tucker. But I really don't want them to ruin Otis's rep so well. Because this is the thing. Like, Miz is never going to become champion. He's not going to become WWE champion again. Unless there's a reason to. And because Drew has the belt, that means everybody's kind of after him. In a sense, I'd rather have Keith Lee become champion or somebody else. Because I feel like Otis is going to win. He'll have the thing for... Because he's got a year. He has a year, and I just, I feel like if he's going to do it, he'll probably do it at WrestleMania. Because that's what I would do. I would do the Seth Rollins. I would basically cash it at WrestleMania, beat him for the title. That way he can steal it. That way whoever faces him, which will probably be Biggie, because he'll probably win the Men's Royal Rumble, because he'll end up winning it. And like I said, and then, you know, but... But that's the first prediction. Otis is going to retain for the. He's going to have the. He's still going to have the money in the bank briefcase. Uh, pretty much the Bailey and Sasha thing. I did see the contract signing. I just didn't. I really would have. I would have liked it if. I would have liked two two things. I would have liked actually. I would have liked it if they actually had a crowd for it. The Thunderdome was cool. I like how they have the digital crowd. Everybody was into it. But it's more the fact that this, if, even if even if Bailey does retain, she's gonna be the most dominant champion until somebody decides to unless they pull unless they give Bianca Belair the shot because I feel like they're gonna give it to her because she's just been dominating every time she shows up and I'd rather her show up, go after Bailey, have a rivalry with Bailey because that that would be better than Sasha. I feel Bianca has the the, the like the the charisma to do it. And that would actually help with the Street Profits because they're actually SmackDown Tag Team Champions. She could become SmackDown Women's Champion, be the most dominant, be the most dominant, win the belt, and just probably double, just become double champion if she wants to. And that's the thing. You got Bianca Belair, who's a fantastic, who's fantastic in the ring because her toughness, her speed, her charisma is like off the charts, and everybody loves her. So, and she's good as a face. And I think, like I said, um, I think Bailey's gonna retain. I really think ba um Bailey's gonna retain, cause Sasha. Cause this is the thing. Sasha's been so many. Sasha's been in a Hell in a Cell match before, so even if it does get brutal, she's probably gonna end up winning. She's gonna end up winning. Cause this is the thing. Bailey's gonna end up winning because she's becoming a lot more ruthless. She's been hitting people with chairs. She's become a lot more ruthless. And that's the thing. And you need, and you need that. You need people to, you need people to have that. And then you have like, like I said before, and I'm also gonna talk about the um, 
I kind of want to see what they're going to... I really kind of want to see... I think Elias is going to win. Because that's going to be like a pre-show match. But he's going to he's gonna end up winning against Jeff Hardy. Or Jeff Hardy's going to beat him. But what I'm saying is like, listen. The main event, I don't know where it's going to go. I really don't. I don't think Roman... I think Roman's going to dominate. But it's going to be bloody, guys. I'm, I'm being honest with you. Tomorrow, it, it's going to be bloody for Roman. It's going to be bloody for him. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be nuts. It, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a lot of blood. Because Roman wants, he don't just want to beat him. He want to make that dude, he wants to make the, and the thing is that the thing that I liked was the fact that he said, your replica, your, your consequences are, if you, he's like, if you lose, you got to take orders. But if you don't, we're going to, you're out of the family. We're going to cut you up. We're going to make the family turn our back on you. And that's the thing. He's going to excommunicate him out the, 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 the family, bro. And that's something you don't do. Especially in wrestling. And like, I feel like ever since I saw... Because, like, Jay standing tall at Roman Reigns, he's ready to go. The first match, he was, like, he was nervous because he never had a, a title shot. Now he's going to be like, yo, I got to beat this dude to become the man of the, 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 man of the table, which I'm going to do. He wants to be the tribal chief. And I think that is, a, that is a cool name for Roman Reigns. I think it's better than the big dog. I think it's going to be... It's going to be bloody. It's going to be the most... He's not going... He ain't going to quit. They're gonna have to. They're gonna have to make him throw in the tower to make him quit because he's not gonna quit. He's not gonna quit. I, I already see it. He's not gonna quit because Roman is gonna spear him, do a couple of Superman punches. It's gonna be a. It's gonna be a long bloody match. It is, and I'm telling you guys, I don't know where it's gonna go. And I'm telling you, this Hell in a Cell is fun. This year, especially because we got Drew, especially we got Roman and Drew just dominating, and we got Jay. I just like I really want to see that dude win the championship. I just I just want to I just want to see the look on on Roman's face more than anything else. Like I said, guys, it's gonna be good. The Roman, like I said, Drew and Randy are ready to fight. They like Drew was gonna like rip like they. I could see people going. I could see somebody going through a cell wall and going off the top of the cell this year because it's gonna happen. It's going to happen. I can tell you one hundred percent. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen like a robot. It's gonna happen. Cause somebody goes off the, if 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 Jay pulls off the thing where he did the where he did the splash off if he did the splash off the cell, that's gonna be that's gonna be a great highlight reel. That's gonna be great because he's going he like Roman Reigns is going to beat the crap out of him. He's going to win. He's going to win. But anyway, guys, um, this is just like I said. I'm just going to recap my predictions. Uh, like I said, Bailey's gonna retain. The Street Profits are gonna retain their titles because I feel like Cesaro and Shinsuke are gonna want a title match. I feel like Daniel Bryan is probably gonna have a match with Sami Zayn tomorrow for the Intercontinental Title. I didn't feel like it's gonna happen. Like I said before, I, I already know what's going to happen. Like I said, I already see it. I already kind of see it. Because like I said, it's, it's just a lot of rivalries. I don't know. I don't know what we're like. Pretty much, I don't know what the Herb is even have. I don't even think they even have a match. Because if they don't, I know Murphy and, and Seth are going to have a match. Because that, that's not done. That's what I feel like they're gonna have a match. But anyway, guys, um, like I said, I am gonna do a hell I am gonna do a hell in a cell review uh tomorrow. Cause like I said, I'm probably I'm probably gonna do it tomorrow so we can be prepared. Cause like I said, I still gotta do a couple other things. But like I said, guys, I just wanted to tell you, um, I hope you guys enjoy the uh the pay-per-view just as much as I will. Um, like I said, I wanna know your guys' thoughts on this, on the match. Um, pretty much on the I thought about doing a lot I thought about doing a live stream. For the thing, but I'm probably not going to, I'll probably do it if anybody wants me to do it, but I'll probably just give you guys a review of it and I'll tell you what it was like. But anyway, guys, like, comment, subscribe, peace, uh, too sweet, and hearty handshake. Have a good day, guys.